Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa and in today's video I will teach you how you can create your very own digital stickers from scratch using the app Procreate. These are the sticker designs that we are going to be creating today and you'll see that they are ready to use, they are pre-cropped, I have them all set up in GoodNotes and they are really quick and easy to create. So let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my app Procreate and then from here I'm just going to create a new document so I'm gonna click on this plus sign at the top right and I'm going to click on this icon on the top right corner so that I can select a custom size and I'm going to make my sticker around three to four inches for both width and height so what you do is you go here where it says inches you tap there and then here you just write the number four and down here you write the number four as well create and that's the size that I've used to create my own digital stickers and it just works fine for me for that purpose. Okay, so now I will pick my brush that I'm going to be using and I think I'm going to go to the inking section. I want this syrup one that's currently selected and I'm going to make the size around like uh, 4% maybe. You can test it out. And another thing I'm going to do is go to my settings menu here because I want to activate my guides or my grid for my canvas. So go to where it says canvas and then drawing guide, just activate that and then you will get this grid just to like make your squares a little more exact, etc. So the first drawing I'm going to make is very simple. We are just going to draw a rectangle, sort of rectangle. And if you leave your pencil on the screen, the shape will turn more perfect. And if I tap here where it says edit shape, I can go to where it says rectangle and then the shape will become an actual rectangle. Now you could count the squares if you want to make sure that what I'm going to do next is exactly in the middle, but I'm just going to like eyeball it and you can still use the grid as a reference, but I'm just going to try to make this 45 degree line from the corner of my rectangle to the center. And then another thing I want to make sure is that I have my edges really well closed because we are going to color in this shape. And if you have a gap, as you know, the color is going to leak everywhere. So this is going to be my envelope or happy mail sticker. So now you go to your layers. I'm going to create a second layer, but this one I'm going to drag it under the first layer. Click on your first layer's image to select reference. Okay, now go back to select the new layer, which is below layer one. And then you just choose whichever colors you want to use. I think I'm gonna do some blue color to start with. And we are going to use different colors in just a second. So just choose whatever looks fine for you. You can play around and change the colors as many times as you need. That's fine for me for now. And I will now go to this icon again to click on add and this time I want to add a text box. So I will just write mail. Okay, now I'm going to select that text, click on my font name so I can choose my Mireya font. I can make the size of the text a little bigger, something like that. And I want it to be black so I just go to my color, select black and with my arrow I can lower this so I can center it in the middle of my sticker. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and adjust it. And this is my first sticker that is done. As you can see, that was super quick. And before I export this and turn it into an actual sticker, I like to crop my canvas. So tap on this first icon again on the top left, go to canvas and crop and resize. You will just pull down these edges so that it's as close as possible to the sticker so that you don't have that extra transparent background when you are using the sticker in GoodNotes. You know, if you use your lasso tool, you can accidentally pick a sticker that you didn't intend to when you have all this extra space as part of the sticker. So click on done. Before we export, go to your layers, make sure that your background is deselected so that you can export the sticker with a transparent background. Then go to this icon again, share, PNG, save image. Okay, that saved my sticker to my camera roll. And another cool trick I want to show you is before we start with a new sticker, I'm just going to go to my layers, select the color layers. You can see the colors right here. Go to my color option and just choose any other color tone that you want. For example, I'll do red. And then you have to click on your layers, turn off the reference. Okay, then select the color layer and then just drag this red color to the color layer. And if you drag your pencil to the right, you'll see that you'll change both colors. So the top and the bottom, 
and then you can quickly change the whole color of the whole sticker. So I like this method to just have different variations of colors in my stickers. So I'm going to export this one again. So share PNG, save image, and I'm going to repeat with maybe two more colors. So now I'll pick some sort of like green, drag, whoops, again, something like that, and PNG, save image. One more time, this time I'll do like a yellow or orange, and share PNG, save image. And if I go to my Photos app, you'll see that now I have several stickers with no background in different colors. Okay, now we are going to make design number two. And before I move on, I want to undo everything I did because I want my canvas to go back to the original size that I had selected. Otherwise, it'll start becoming limited and smaller and smaller every time. So I'm just gonna double tap a bunch of times until I can see all of the things I'm going back to. So here I think I have my canvas back and I have my background color back, which also will help me design the new sticker. So go to my layers, create a new layer, make sure it's at the top. So you could squeeze all these three layers of the sticker and then make it into a single image that's perfectly fine. I personally like to keep them separate. I just went back and removed the merge here. So what I'll do is I'll just group them. So drag one on top of the other. Just make sure it's all well arranged. And then you can even label this envelope so you know which layer or which group is which. And then I can collapse this group and toggle visibility off and I'm ready to start designing the following sticker. Now go to the top layer, which is the brand new one. And this time we are going to create a cute mug. For that, I will first make some squares to know where my square is going to go because when I'm actually drawing, I have some issues knowing how it is an exact square, even with my grid. So I think that's about right. Now I'm going to make another layer on top because I'm going to delete that first layer eventually. And what I'll do now is just go and connect the dots here to make a square, sort of. And then leave my pencil on the screen so that I can go and edit my shape. You can turn it into a square or rectangle if you want. Rectangle works for me right now. Now I can go to the first layer where I made the dots and just delete it. Select my new layer and make sure that the corners are closed because again I need to color in this shape. I like this pencil too because you know you can play with the width and pressure and make it look more organic, more hand drawn. You could also select a monoline brush if you want, if you want the stroke to be the same weight all over, so you can try that. I'm gonna go to my layers yet again, and as you can see, I love using separate layers, and that is just in case I make mistakes or need to go back to fix anything. And so this is my mug, and then I just need to draw like a handle, something like this, super simple. That was too thick, so I'm just gonna go again, something like that, nothing complicated, okay? And what I'm going to do now is go back to the mug layer, grab my eraser, make sure I have a good size for my brush, and then just delete these gaps here around there. Then you can go with your brush and fix these little spaces. Also, if you double tap on the Apple Pencil, you can switch between brush and eraser. And I'm going to go to my layers and merge these two layers I've been working on. So now this is a single layer, so I can continue to adjust and erase the bits that I don't need. Okay, that's looking good. I will also move this lower because I want to draw some steam here at the top. So I'm just gonna move this down using my arrow tool. And for this, I can stay on the same layer because the drawing is gonna be separate from the mug. And I just want to draw some like steamy shapes here. Something simple like that, nothing complicated. You can do two or three, I think two is fine for me. I'm going to use my lasso tool here to select this uh, steam. And again, you could do this in a separate layer if you want. And you can just center it, adjust it a little bit so it looks good. I think that's fine. Go to my layers, create a new layer. This is going to be my color layer and I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom here. Select any color you want. This is just one single color for the whole sticker besides the black outline. So go to my layers, tap on my mug layer here to click on reference, go select the new layer which is at the bottom and then just drag the color to color in my mug. The next thing we do is crop our canvas to fit the sticker best, remove that extra transparent background, done. Go to my layers, turn off my background, share, PNG, save image 
And again, I'm going to choose some other color variations for this mug. So share again as PNG, save image, and repeat a few more times until you are satisfied with all of the colors that you have. And I think I'm missing a purple color. How can that be? So I'll just do that right now. And PNG, save image. Awesome, so now it's time to go back to where we had our canvas uncropped. So over there, I will group all these layers, which is only two layers, in fact, to label this mug. Hide this layer, this group of layers, and create a new layer. Select my black color, go to my brush, and start designing our third and last design today. And that is going to be a cell phone. So again, this is very simple. You just draw a rectangle, like a tall rectangle that resembles a phone. That's so uneven, but Procreate saves me. So just tap on Edit Shape, Rectangle, okay? And let's see, so what I'll do now is I'll just duplicate this same rectangle. So drag three of my fingers on the screen down at the same time, click on duplicate, and now I have an exact copy of whichever shape I had. So now I'm just going to make this new shape a little bit smaller, center it, and if I go to where it says freeform here, I will be able to deform the shape so it's no longer uniform and I can change the size to go a little shorter or taller. Okay, that seems fine for me. I'm going to create a new layer, again, to keep items separate. And I'm just going to draw in a circle here in the middle, like to show the button that these phones have. And that's a little too big, so I'm just going to make it a little smaller using my arrow tool, something like that. And I'm gonna go at the top here, and what I'll do in that same layer is just draw this line, and then just a little circle that's kind of like camera and my microphone. Most phones look something like that. You can make it a little bit smaller if you want and reposition, okay? So now I will just merge these two rectangles because that's the shape I want. So I just collapse these two layers. I don't know if you can see, but you can tell that they are the rectangles because you can see the miniatures here. So just collapse them. Make sure that this layer is turned to reference and then create a new layer that will go underneath and that will be the color layer. And I'll choose some pink color to do the outside. And for the screen, I want some light blue color, something like that. And before I export, I would like to add some text. So for that, I'm going to open my envelope group in my layers here. I will drag my mail layer to the left so I can duplicate it and drag this text out on top of my current sticker work, which is the phone. I'm gonna collapse this again get out of here and now I can edit this text and I just want it to say something like to call so I'll make this box smaller so I have two separate words and what I want now is edit the text a little bit so make it smaller and I can also make the words be a little bit closer together so they're not so spread out something like that Done, use my arrow and move my text somewhere here. Make it a little bit smaller. At the bottom here, you'll have room to write down who you're calling. Okay, great. So now we are ready to crop this and export it and turn it into stickers. So go to this icon, Canvas, Crop and Resize. Crop this as close as possible to the edges of the sticker, done and turn my background off and this time share png save image now we get to change the color so select my color layer and select a different color like a green drag the color and then export again as png save image and repeat two or three more times until you're happy with all of your color selections Okay, so we have created a total of 12 different stickers and now I will quickly open GoodNotes, my planner here, to show you how you can add the stickers to the pages. In this case, I have a digital planner, but you could have your blank sticker book set up here so that you can bring your photos app side by side in split screen view. So just drag it here to the side and then all I do is drag my stickers onto my page. So I'll just make them smaller so I can fit them all and keep dragging. This is something annoying of GoodNotes. They change the size randomly of the stickers sometimes, not always. Sometimes I do transfer 
on the same size but sometimes they change so if it's something important like dates things that you know need to be the same size that can be a little annoying but it's not a big deal you can always adjust using your lasso tool okay i'm gonna close my photos app and i am just going to resize all the stickers so that they are the same size it's okay they're on top of each other we'll fix that in a second you'll see how for now i just want them to be the same size which i think they are and from now i can select them all resize them make them smaller go grab my image tool so i can tap on the top sticker and then just separate it from the rest move these mugs down here and my envelopes are a little too small but that's fine and just arrange them so that they're not all on top of each other and that's it and you have created your very own digital sticker sheet all right guys so that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today and if you did please give it a thumbs up to let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on what you'd like to see next on my channel please let me know in a comment below and i'll get back to you as quick as i can also if you'd like to share your work with us i would love to see it you can post a screenshot on our facebook group digital planners by Princetic, or you can also share and tag Princetic shop on instagram don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when the new video is out i'm always sharing nice tips and tricks on fun and useful things you can do on the iPad. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!